what's up guys welcome back to another video today is movie monday i had to take a pause for a moment because this right here mm, this this movie right here has been on my screen for a good two three weeks now and i just kept saying to myself like am i really going to be into this movie or am I just going to be into the movie because of that? Child. All I'm going to say to you is, I've, I watched the preview. I watched the trailer. Um, finally decided to watch it when it came out. So, this movie just came out Friday. And all I'm going to say is, my eyes was like this. They barely wanted to blink. I barely wanted to gasp for air. So, I know I'm one to sit up here and say every movie Monday I'm not giving away details. Because I don't know if someone else has seen it or not. Unless the movie's really, really old and I feel like everybody should. All I'm going to say for this movie... I'm getting hot thinking about it, right? So, a lot of you guys know that um, after you lose a, a loved one, it's very hard to come back out of that. And it's hard to move on. I gotta say, I'm giving Lauren London her props. I'm glad that she's out of the state that she was in. And don't get me wrong, she she's going to continue to grieve. Um, she's going to continue to grow and she's going to continue to come out of her shell again and, you know, be the TV pretty woman, Lauren London, that we all know. When I seen the movie, finally, um, you know, A, I thought that Lauren London would have more parts. Um, or more time in the movie. And, you know, honestly, it, it, it's, it, did, it probably did take a lot for her to have to be in this movie and go through the scene that she went through. Um, you know, considering the fact that her significant other Nipsey Hussle went through the same thing. Um, you know, it, it, it takes the guts. It does. And I gotta commend her for that. I have always loved Lauren London. I have loved everything about her. I remember dressing up one year um, for Celebrity Lookalike. And I had the bun on my head um, with the big purple pink glasses like she had on in ATL and that was who I wanted to be you know except for the fact I couldn't wear my bathing suit to school but you know she's a real pretty woman um, she's a good mom you never hear you know any negative stories about her so like I said I gotta commend her um, and Lauren honey let me, let me tell you something as well you's a lucky woman right Okay. Use a lucky woman to be in the movie with him and to be this close to him. Because I'm telling you, I paused my movie Saturday or maybe Friday afternoon. I think it was Friday afternoon. I had to pause it because I needed to go to the food line. And I was getting ready to walk out the door. And I had ran back in here and I told my fiance, I was like, oh, whoa, hell up. I got I to gotta pause him because. I can't miss no parts of him. But my fiance got so hot and was like, oh, but if I say that about Carrie Hilson and such and such, you got an attitude. I said, well, let's look Carrie Hilson up and you can watch her while I'm down. But anyways, um, the beginning of the movie was great. You know, it, it gave an insight to what was going on. And... 
whole movie. I didn't like, I didn't fall off of like looking at the, the movie one time. And it wasn't just because of Michael B. Jordan. Um, I really think that the movie was great. Um, I think that a lot of people fail to realize stuff like that, you know, possibly might can happen. But ladies, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Who, I don't know like who needs to hear this, but I don't care what way this man looks, whether it's A, B, C, or D. This man looks damn good, okay? Michael B. Jordan, if you ever get across this video or somebody ever want to send it to him, please do tell him, come, come, come this way. I understand you were Lori Harvey, but baby, Lord. Michael B. Jordan. Hey. Y'all, all I'm going to say is the movie was great. You need to go watch it. Check it out on Amazon Prime. I know I did twice. And I think that eventually one day this week I'll watch it again. Because I like to do that with new movies just to figure out like what I didn't catch when I first watched it. So yes, go and watch this on your TV screen. Ta-da!